Hello and welcome to Wicklow Good News with me, Gillian Gotzel. My guest today is Gronya Tyndall, who is an international numerologist. Woo! I love Woo-hoo. saying that. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on Wicklow Good News. Gronya, you're, you're now living just in, outside Arklow. That's correct. I'm in Arklow. I love, love Arklow. It's a beautiful place. I love County Wicklow. And you're just on the beach there as well, I think, aren't you? Just across from the beach and... It's such a historical town and the, the people are so lovely here. So I'm really blessed to be living here. Wow. Wow. That sounds amazing. Now, internationally, I understand numerologist. What is a numerologist? A numerologist. Yes. So a numerologist, what I do is I help people to find their life purpose and potential and skills through their date of birth. So a lot of you would have people who are listening would have seen and heard about astrology, obviously. Well, astrology is very much working with your time of birth. Whereas numerology is just working with your name and your date from birth. And it helps people to, as I said, you know, to get to know who they are, to, to be the best version of themselves. And that's my role. I help people to figure out, well, through my work, to work and understand why they're here, what can they do to improve this life experience. And in order to go forward, to learn the right time to do things. That's what I do. And it's all based on science, isn't it? That's right. It's called the, sometimes the science of numbers. And the historical part of it is good old Pythagoras. Remember Pythagoras' theorems from our school days? Well, Pythagoras was, yes, indeed. He was a philosopher and he was uh, very much somebody who was interested in maths, a mathematician. And he came across how the vibration of every number and every letter in our names has a vibration which creates the energy of who we are and what we can bring to the world. So when I was training many, many years ago, 25 years ago, I was trained in the Pythagorean system because there are many different systems of numerology. It's sometimes equated with sacred geometry. So it's all interconnected. And for me, though, the Pythagorean system is the easiest because once you get the basics, you can really use it to enhance your life for sure. And am I right in saying that the numbers are important because also when you're using them, people born in different times have shared characteristics, perhaps. You know, people yes. born in the last century and this century can be quite different. Yes, that's right. Um, certainly the, the people born in the 20th century, like all of us, uh, 19 something, the number 19, there's a few numbers that have a karmic twist to them. And karma means there's a little bit more work to be done. So those of us born since 1900 to 1999, we have come in collectively to sort of become independent, to be inter- interdependent, and to work on ourselves in order for the collective to change. Whereas the young people born since the year 2000, right up to 2020, are very much, they're very different energy. They are here to work as groups. It's very much the divine feminine rising. And I feel that's why 2020, I think you, we may be talking about that at some point, 2020 is such a pivotal time in the history of the human human existence you you beat me too my next question was 2020 i mean 2020 vision we know it's it's a very impressive set of numbers even if you didn't know anything about numerology yes and what does it mean to you how do you interpret it oh it's so exciting well 2020 is all about the two is to do with the divine feminine it's to do with choices and decision making but it's also to do with people coming together again i use the word collectively to be to bring forward the changes that are needed. The zero is all about unlimited potential. So for all of us who are still alive in 2020, we have that choice. It's really about choice and decisions to be and become unlimited potential. And together as a world, the seven point something billion of us, we can do this. We can bring and change. And 2020 to me is utopia. And utopia, which, which is kind is, of a strange thing to say, given we're yeah. in lockdown, isn't it? Absolutely, yes, for sure. And you know, certainly since the since January of 2020, I have been observing, you know, because each month has a significance numerology-wise. And for me, this is such an incredible time in human history because we can make the changes, and we have to go through what we've gone through, and the choices and decisions we're making during this period will have a ripple effect, certainly till the end of this year, if not forever. That's a good point. Choices and change. You're right, because this, yeah. the lockdown is making us think, refocus, sit yeah. with ourselves and figure out what our purpose is. And you, you mentioned at the very start, numerology is, you can help people to find their purpose. Just explain a little bit yeah. how that works. Yes, because each 
when you add your date of birth together, you come to a one to a final digit, and that's called your life path number. And it's also what is your potential and skills in this lifetime, because each of us have come in on a vibration to learn and to grow and develop. And everyone is different because every number has a significance in your chart. So therefore, it's. it's We have a slight hiatus. Uh, mm, Gronya's bandwidth has so I'm hoping she's going to jump back in. I'm going to let this keep on running. I'm going to ring her. Back on again. Oh, rubbish beside the fire there, isn't it terrible? Let's just see if we can get it back on again. Live recordings, all the joys. Yeah. Can you get back on? And hopefully she can come back on again just to explain how it works. She was about to say what it actually means for an individual to come and talk to her um, to see what the numbers mean. And it does make sense. There's all these energies about when you're born, the time that you're born, um, and it's a way of interpreting what you might be. And I think now is a good time because I was speaking to Gronya last week as well. In the shutdown, people are doing different things. Some people, ah, she's coming back in, some people are gardening and some people are um, cooking and some are figuring out what their life purpose is. And we have Gronya coming back on again. Yay! I'm so sorry, it just went dead. Yeah, I'm not so great. sorry. I, I warbled along in the interim. So <laughs> we're, we're about to... <laughs> The most exciting thing. I got to oh. say, how do you uh, what? How do you help individuals? You were saying about their numbers and what it means. Okay, so basically, each number of one's date of birth has a significance as to what we're here to experience and do. So when I add people's dates of birth together, it comes to a final digit, and each digit has a significance. And together, what I would do as a numerologist, I look at all of the numbers and come up with like a plan or a chart which helps me to help people then to understand what it is they're here to actually experience. Again, everything's about choice. Nothing is set in stone. But what I'm really doing is I'm helping people to understand what their soul's contract is. Because our soul is the real us. Even though we're a personality, our soul is the real us. And that's what we're here to learn. What is your soul's contract? That's really wow. what I do. Very powerful. And I think I was just saying when, when we had the breakdown there, um, now is a time to try and figure out what it is. We have space and a bit of reflection um, oh, yes, until the lockdown is. is eased up to figure out yeah. why we're on this earth. As I was Absolutely. saying, some people are here to garden, some to cook, and some to do other things. I mean, it has yet yeah. to be explored. Yeah. <laughs> I really believe we're here to be of service and to be of service to learn about ourselves, but, but to be of service to help those other people. And the more we, it's about giving and receiving. It's the yin and the yang. It's the balance piece. And that's what 2020 is about. It's the balance between male and female. But it really is about female. It doesn't mean that, you know, we all have male and female, men as well as women. So it's to do with that, you know, your intuitiveness. It's the decisions, the choices. It's about, you know, listening to your gut feeling. That's really what the feminine is about. But it's also about women rising. It's about the feminine being heard. It's about a matriarchal society as opposed to a patriarchal society. So interesting times ahead. Interesting. And you run a, a WhatsApp group with uh, daily... Um, yes, I do. Daily messages. Motivational. Yes. Yeah, so tell me a bit about that. Yes, I have um, about 80-something people now on my group. And basically every day I send a message, seven days a week, to inspire people. And it started really at the beginning of this um, cocooning. And it has continued. And I'm hoping to continue it now through, through Patreon and through other methods. But ultimately, it's to inspire people to keep going during this period. Brilliant. And so if people want to reach you, how can they reach you, Gronje? Sure. My website is www.numbersforsuccess. And the number four is in the middle, numbersforsuccess.com. Or they can contact me on Facebook under Numbers for Success or Instagram or Twitter. Oh. Twitter. Easily found. Easily found. Well, thank you so much for, for your time today. You. I love the fact that it's all based on science. And Pythagoras, it's all your fault. Yes. Pythagoras' <laughs> theorem, that's the man. Brilliant. Well, thank Thanks you so much so for much. your time today, Gronje. It's Gronje Tindall for uh, Numbers for Success. Thank you to Marlena Murphy producing and Gavin Dowd on sound. And until we meet you again, be safe, be good, and keep on helping others. Have a great one.